I love the mm. fact that you don't shy away from either one and you really do bring your traditional indigenous indigenous music into your pop music, into your soul yeah. music, into your R&B music. Um, yeah. For you, um, uh, do you feel like that is something that you would like to bring more light to? Because I think that... Um, Oftentimes, we don't understand how much Native American music does influence, you know, um, black music, um, as well as like country music. Mm hmm. Yeah. When you hear uh, like some of the sounds of like the Seminole, which was uh, the word Seminole means runaway or wild. And it, the Seminoles, they're really like Muscogee tribes, the Chickasaw, the Creek, the Choctaw and Africans who combined and made one tribe. And when you hear the way they sing powwow music, oh, so beautiful. I mean, layered harmonies, very bluesy, the low notes, the growls. Like, you really hear those, how they influence each other. Um, definitely, I want, I'm going to include more Native music, especially as I, I'm, I'm relearning my language now. Um, up until the late 70s, it was against the law for Native people to practice any of the culture, the ceremonies, the language. Are you serious? So I'm Oh, yeah. Yeah, until the Freedom of Religion Act was passed for Native Americans in 1978, you could not practice any Native culture in the United States. Yeah. So my mother went back to relearn it, and they learned a lot. And now it's up to, to me and my generation to relearn more, you know. So I'm relearning my language. And once I really learn to speak my language, you're going to hear me singing in my language a lot more. Yeah. Thank you so much so my for mom, that. Choctaw. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. It yeah, and we need that. And, and you know, I just, that devastates me to hear that until the late 1970s, it was illegal to practice yep. your, your native tongue and, and your native culture. And you're just disgusting, mm -hmm. um, which is why I think it's another reason why you, you just don't have it in you to not make political music. Your music is... <laughs> It's always got great beats. Like on this album, you're like doing a little dance hall. You're doing, you know, of course, <laughs> classic R&B and soul. You're doing a little throwback kind of feeling like a little motown and stuff. But it's all with a message behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's what we wanted it to encompass. Encompass like what is the culture? What is our culture? Like what when we get together and we want to feel good, how does that sound? How does that look? When we want to talk our stuff and we want to vent, when we, you know what I mean? What does that sound like when we don't have to assimilate, we don't have to code switch, and we can just be, be free to be ourselves and let our hair down, deal with the day, be the full expansion and full expression of ourselves. What, what does that look like? You know, and that, that's what we really want to bring forth with this album.